And actually, for the draw of EpiPen, that should also work as well, right? Okay, great. Let's. Show agent select too, so you can, you can you want to skip all this you can. Can we yeah. get a smoke? <laughs> can we get a smoke? I don't think smoke is really that necessary on, on split. I mean, smoke's always good to have. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, okay. So like, I, I messed up my cam here. I didn't. I didn't really care, but yeah. Oh, yeah I, I was a little too far back when setting it up. Uh, smokes on. Okay, so <laughs> reason why I feel like we, we probably needed smokes on this map especially is. Because, like, well, the other team ended up being like a whole bunch of off crushes. Oh. Is it Got it. One thing I'll say right away is that your minimap is a little bit too small, or at least you shouldn't have your minimap centered because you're missing out on information that's happening across the map right now. It's so, true. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I did give I did give like on fixed minimap a shot, but I'm not gonna lie. I kind of it kind of screwed me a little bit. I'll give it another shot. Maybe, maybe something's a little bit different this time. All right, good enough. Generally, when I rotate, you should rotate through mid, unless you really don't have mid control. So if you look at where your sky is. She's already in ropes, and assuming that she doesn't hit hurt anything mid, you can just like rotate, rotate through mid as well. Like oh, we didn't have ropes control is what I was looking at. Well, she was in ropes, right? Like, yeah. Uh, no, we didn't. We, I don't think we had that control yet. As you can see, when Sky rotates through event, it could have been pretty risky. Oh, you mean like you mean like the enemy is going to be in ropes, or you mean the enemy is going to be in ramps? Enemy is going to be in heaven, is what I was thinking. No. Because like as you can see, like a, a jet fully committed to sight, and, and so did the other player, I think. Yeah. And, and so, like, we didn't have heaven control, and it, so it could have gotten really dicey for the sky if someone was camping that. That's the reason why I always make my rotates through CT, especially on split, because, like, a lot of time the teammates give up heaven really quickly, is what mm -hmm. I was thinking. Okay, this guy's dead. Here. You should hide. You should hide. You're too exposed. Like, if you look at this position. This makes sense. You're trying to trade out the sky. Okay, fine. You try to take, finish the trade, but after that, they're behind cover. Now they've either reloaded or another enemy could have like grouped up of, at ramps. So there could be multiple people at ramps besides that one person that you're looking at right now. And okay, so one question is, yeah. where do I duck in the cover next to the race? Yeah. I, okay. I would I would probably just like either give this up completely or push a little bit. F Closer so that you're like next to next to ropes. That wall. That yep. makes sense. Yeah. But you want to figure out a way so that for you to play with your rays. Right in this position right now, someone could swing. You take a one v one, and then your rays is nowhere but nowhere near in position to trade you out. Makes sense. So peeking this right now is a little bit risky because like you have to win the one v one. Not only are you alone, like oh, too far away from your rays, but you also don't have any cover either. That makes sense. I, I was thinking along the lines of, of keeping him pinned, but now I think about it, it probably wasn't a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Another thing you could do is that you have a cage, so you can use that cage or use your utility to help isolate mummy ones. Like maybe you cage, um, cage like the heaven window, and then you, you tell your race, hey, let's push, push this guy, ramps 2v1, or something like that. Makes sense. Okay, let's keep it going. I, I got timing there with the reload. I, I probably should have. I had oh, yeah, I wouldn't have reloaded. You have no idea if they're going to pick you up. Last player standing. Okay. Little tiny thing here. Small detail. Like, because you're the one making first contact, you want to make sure you're not too committed. I mean, this position is like really hard. Because like, they swing you and then, well, now you're committed. But here, like, I would try to, like, either swing rightward after you kill that phoenix, just so that Rays can, can try to have a chance to get into this fight. Player standing. Yeah, the, 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 reason, the reason why I got into that kind of position in the first place oh, is because I didn't want to occupy the same angle as my Rays did. You're right, I probably should have jumped on top of that box to take that fight. 
Probably. That would be that would have been a better item. Um. Uh, it's kind of iffy because jumping That's on the box makes you. From ramp, yeah. Right. So where should I have put in this position? Because like I, I really don't like if it, if I was anywhere else, it would have been occupying the same angle as the rays. Yeah, it's hard to say, but it's, it's kind of a small detail. I would just like after you kill the phoenix, just run to your right, and then try to try to disengage and let your rays re-engage. Uh, the the reason why I didn't try to disengage, like or like I was thinking about it, but like I got tagged by the by the chamber, and so I knew I had to stand and fight. I didn't have a, I don't think I had a choice. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you swung left a little bit though. But you could have just like immediately hard swing right. And the video is frozen. What happened? Oh, well, we'll see. Is it just me or is, it, or is this thing lagging? It's the video is frozen for some reason. Okay. Okay, I close it and so we open it. Okay, now we'll see this one open. What the fuck? Hey, me? Or? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Wait, me or? Do you need me to do something or? I'm trying to close VLC and then reopen it, but it's just not okay. working for something, so I'll have to go to task manager and kill it. Alright. Okay, now it can reopen. And now I can reshare. Okay, you can still see my screen, right? That goes there. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That, 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 that camera is the one I was trying to throw. I thought about buying a sheriff, but I decided not to because, like, as a sentinel, you need a utility. So. <laughs> One thing I like to see more is like pressing tab a lot during the buy phase, so that you can see like what your team is buying, and you can base your buys based on what your team buys. Raise back off. I will yeah, set up. I'm not, I kind of like oh, lost the habit. This one way. This one I way. hit the yeah. shot. Yeah. This one way. Is so I, I, I kind of. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm, go ahead. Kind of lost the habit of of hitting tab because like um in the past I had a, I had a huge confidence issue by constantly checking scoreboard and and, and so like um I kind of you know unbinded it for a while to stop thinking about it. But you're right. I probably should. Uh, maybe I'll compensate for it by checking the buy menu over and over again. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say this cage is like really strong. This one way, I would even consider just buying two cages so that you can, like, hard abuse this cage. Yeah. You're peeking way too long here. So like, peeking while the one way, great, love it. Yeah. Peeking while the one way is gone, don't love it. This that is a bit risky. I mean, okay, we're hugging this corner, but now we're wide swing. I don't know about this. Previously, this is fine. Um, so, um, what, what I was thinking here was, okay, so this corner is spammable, I need to get out of here. And so, and so I took the wide swing fight to, to try to see if, like, if I had the time to, to like, um, continue moving left, but no, I, I was forced to like take the fight. Okay. Because I already got tagged once, so. You're getting tagged because you're on the open. Like, yes, this, yeah. this wall to your right is, is spammable, but not necessarily on second round, where people have pistols or Spectres, like, Spectre, that's, yeah. that is true, that makes sense. It'd be a different okay, story so, if they had like a, a Phantom of Vandal. So I should have stayed in that corner and just cammed and waited for someone to push? Yeah, 100%. Makes sense. Especially look at where, where your team is, your rays and your jet are like too far away. Like if you find yourself in a 1-1 one -one, like right now, so like this peak is like okay because like this is very tight, right? So like you yes. can always break line of sight, get behind cover like almost immediately, yes. right? Yes. This peak is fine, this peak is fine. I like this jiggle, I love it a lot, but this is not fine. This is a wide swing, right? Now now you're like you're you're stuck in this one one, you're committed to this one one where you have to die or they have to die. Somebody has to die. Right? And now 
Jet and Vase are, are still too far away to really do anything to help you. That makes sense. And then actually, I don't know what you're checking out. See, now the, <laughs> the, the running away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I was super confused there. I, I thought I had the headshot for sure, but the classic can be really unreliable, especially after you spam it for a little bit. Yeah. Alright. And now I finally make the right choice to get back in camp. One heaven. Enemy spotted beat. Okay, the jet and rage should just give up garage. Spike down, okay, never mind. Enemy spotted beat. So I'm more worried right now about heaven. I, 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 I decided to follow uh, I decided to follow up behind them. Okay, you, you're too far, too far. Nice. Got it. Enemy spotted beat. Okay, you're too far, you're too far. Like jet is like about to peak. And like you're too far to do anything. And then now the raise is peeking, I mean, I don't know why you're looking at this wall. Um, the reason why is I heard the chamber teleport and like um I, I kind of messed up on the audio cue. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Got it. Take the gun. Spectres everywhere. Yo, I'll come. I'll come. You know. Minor detail, but you don't have to be little at the Good end job, of the round. That's the kind of shit I want to see. Just keep your knife out and keep switching for anything on the ground, any guns, whatever. You want to see shit? This cam is good, but this oh, now has become the second time that you're, you're using it. Well, at least no, the second time that the enemy might see it. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. That goes dead. Like, uh, Cypher has like mm -hmm. other cams too, like, um... Uh, maybe... Change yeah. screen so I can draw. So, another really good cam spot is like over here, that, cam that Cypher can yeah. put. And then yeah. it looks like at people's feet. And there's no way that people can actually see th that that cam unless they like if this was like the garage doorway. They have to like get to like here. So like the, yeah. by the time they see the cam, they're like fully exposed inside the doorway, and you can like swing out here or something. I I actually I actually do did use that cam once oh, once during the defensive half. Like yeah, um, this is my preferred setup because this was the first one I learned. So that makes sense. Alright, so back to yeah, the I side. get it. This goes here. I have a king for heat. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I, 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 I kind of had some advantage there. Anyway. Oh, this is a nice spot. Hey, Raze, you don't have to come here in the future. Uh, I, I have a setup for this. Bro, fuck me. Oh my god, how am I alive? I think I only can. Oh, this is a nice I mean, spot. I see why you're, you're carrying because hey, like you. You're trying to play defensively, but this raise is like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm peeking. So I think, yeah, eh. yeah, as soon as you see that, like, just give up the cam. Like, raise could get, could have got pushed right now. Actually, she is getting pushed. Uh, I, and like, the Phoenix or whoever is like peeking her from garage. Like, just give up the cam. Yeah. Try to cheer her out. I have a setup for this. It's, Bro, fuck. It's, that makes like, oh it's like kind of a miracle How that she stays alive. alive. <laughs> yeah, like. But, no, like I, I was busy trying to trying to tell him to get off the angle. I probably should have like first stopped camming while, while I was doing that. That makes sense. You also need to call to your team. Like there's a lot of people. You're gonna come here in the future. I I have a setup. Here, aqua B. Here, Bro, two. Fuck. So another another important skill is being being able to count how many people that you see, how many unique people that you see. Okay. Hey, Ray, you're gonna come here in the future. So uh, let me I'll pause it in like five ten seconds and I'll ask you how many people I, do I you think are coming. This. Bro, fuck me! Oh my god, how am I alive? Okay, how many people do you think so far? If you had to get a call out to your team, what I think is three or four. Is, 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 was, was my first impression. Okay. I didn't call it. Okay. Yeah. How about now? How many? Okay, so I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure on how many because, like, on um, like. I can't exactly hear what was going on at this point too too closely. Okay. Uh, uh, Let's go back. So we'll, we'll go one queue at a time. I, I have a oh, this is a nice spot. Okay. We hear two so far. Yes. One is someone like jumping around, like outside a garage or whatever. And the second is an op shot. So that's two unique sounds already. Hey, Ray, you don't have to come here in the future. Uh, I, I have a. And now we have a specter, so either that's the same second person or that could be a third person. Set up for this. Yes. Bro, fuck me. Oh my god, how am I? And then one of those people is Phoenix. Yes. And now based on the footsteps, we hear at least three, probably four. Yes. 
And then they call Phoenix Bowl. And, the, and then the fact that this is just a straight commit instead of anyone coming out anyone coming out of mid tells me that's probably all five. Uh, well, you're not always sure because there, there could always be there some could be a lurker. Yeah, there could be a lurker. So whenever I give a number of callouts, it's either one, two, or at least three, or like many, meaning yeah. at least three. Uh, I should probably get in that habit. Usually, I don't call how many. I I, I just I, I just call like <clears throat> whether it's a full rush or like whether I see only one or two. I don't really have any protocol to account for if it's just a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. Sage 92. I probably, I probably should have put, uh, activated my cage there before I swung like that. It's so, like they couldn't see my position. Now I think How about am I it. alive? I see right here when I tag that phoenix and I tag that phoenix, right? Yeah. I should have I should have activated that cage so when I swung this, they would not be able to see me. Yeah, I mean, it could be like a 50-50 because like, you won't be able to see them, but they could also just like spray to the cage. So that's a possibility. That is true. That is true. I think the I main mean, like, the main takeaway here is that you're a little bit greedy by trying to also kill the sage, where I would have just killed the phoenix and then back off. Because after you kill the phoenix, like this, the push is like greatly sage slowed. 92. Okay. Over here. Uh, 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 pause. Yep. Uh, part of the problem that I have, like, or at least like a really big problem that I notice now, <clears throat> is that I can't decide what, when I can get away, and when I have to stand and fight. So in that situation, you can get away because you're hugging the corner really, really tightly, and you have the luxury of being able to peek one at a time because you know where they are, and you just like peek very tightly, so you peek one person at a time. In that case, okay, so, I peek, so, so I peek that corner. So, so say I, I did peek that corner and then I backed off. Where should I go? Is, should, should I go to like the other side of the pillar, or yeah, just play on the pillar? So here okay, you have the luxury because you know that Phoenix is the first person. You can peek tightly so that. Just like this, where like you you isolate the one one with the phoenix. Here you swing yeah. out a little bit too much, and now you're exposed to sage. But after you yeah, kill phoenix, yeah, now I had to take that fight with sage. Yeah, I think like, it, I could have gotten back, but would have gotten heavily tagged. Is, yeah, is, is I, my conclusion. I think you can like, still I'm survive hit. this, but here you, you stick around yeah. to try to fight the sage when it's not so, like, really, really necessary. The, the the best way to save the situation, like the way that I did it so far. Is probably to get back, try to get back around the corner, no matter how hard I get tagged. The most optimal way to play it is to peek out only, so I only see the phoenix, spray him down, and then immediately go back, so I don't get tagged at all. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Uh, Sage Johnny two. Healing over here. <laughs> nice shot. Let's go to the next round. This should do. This is now the third time we're camming this, yeah, so hopefully yeah. the enemy team realizes this. <laughs> hey, Jeff, I'm gonna I'm gonna one way on your on your contact. Did we like kill a few bees? Why we have still stacked? Okay, one garage, yeah, two garage. Back hey, Jeff, I'm gonna I'm gonna one way on your on your contact. At least two, maybe three garage. Watch mid. That's what that's called, I would say. Watch heaven. Enemy down. Great shots. Spike down, B. Bro, no way. 45 on the omen. Play off our jet, play off our jet. Play off our jet. Nah, too late. Yeah, uh, like, I, I, I didn't think that he would. Uh, I did not think that he would actually push that. And I was like, like, oh my god, you're gonna ego peek this? And I'm like, oh man. Yeah, the thing, you have to go off a body lane. Like, you see, like, right here, the jet is like looking at heaven. Oh. Now no Jet way. is like pushing into garage. Right here, like you walking back is the yeah, completely wrong play. I mean, Jet is also making the wrong play, but we have to like adapt to whatever the team is giving us or whatever the situation is throwing at us. That is true. Uh, I, I was playing way too selfishly here. Cage triggered. That's yeah, that's 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 another hard part that I have is like. But like like uh, I watch uh, I watch pros do this kind of stuff, but then I realize that sometimes it's not necessarily the best play for for myself. Like I'm I'm pretty sure, like I'm not, I'm pretty sure that if it was Dapper like and, and Jet didn't make that peak, then he would have just backed off the, the same way I did. But pro maybe not to that quarter, but I think he would have stayed back. Yeah. But you're right. In that in that situation with a Jet pushing up like that, I probably should have gone into trade. Yeah. Mm.
think they're running away from B main. Here I would actually give up B. Because if I were the enemy team, I know that Saifu is still at B. Sky is unknown. Maybe she's A, maybe she's mid. But they're 3 stack right now with like full, with a huge chunk of map control where they can kind of go anywhere. They can just like go straight up mid and they have time as well to like rotate all the way through T spawn, T spawn and go A. That is so, true. So, like, and worst comes to worst, like I, I still have my cam here for the retake. So. Right, exactly. Like, uh, unless you still hear stuff in garage, I would look at it. Yeah, there's no point in holding like, When I heard the Omen TP, I knew, I knew it was going to be A, so I just grabbed my cam and went. Spike planted. <laughs> this guy should have played with you. Oh, I'm not going to do that, sorry. Yeah, he's a hooker. I really wonder how he got there. Wasn't Sky there, or but anyway? Nah, I was talking to 30 seconds left. Oh, he already left heaven early. He didn't go through mid. That left. makes sense. Yeah, he could be like male already. Spike like, planted. This guy wasn't necessarily like, peeking deeply into, into mid. Uh, That's my guess of where he was. He's, he was playing male. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, this should do. This goes here. Yeah, it's hard for me to figure out oh, nice what the spot. buys are because you're not really pressing tab any time during the buy phase. Yes, this should do. This goes here. Uh, I, I said I, I kind of um. Oh, okay. So uh, you you can be confident that like I was buying every single time I, uh, my teammates were because some of them were forcing. Okay. Like um, I I did save with them and I did buy with them. So. Okay, but also it depends like what they buy and then also dictates like what you should buy. Not just like that everyone has a rifle, but like maybe they're forcing, but maybe someone has a marshal, maybe someone has a spectre, maybe someone has a judge, and like they're forcing with that, right? And while you have the phantom, well, because you have the more expensive gun, you want to be in as, as many gunfights as possible. Makes so that you either you, you can like get gun upgrades for your team, or you can like drop your gun to your team if you die and you mess up and die or whatever. True. Yeah, well, you don't want to happen. Let's say they all, they all have judge inspectors. They're all at A site. You're alone at B site, and then you take like a one v one here. You lose it, and then now your gun is gone forever, where your team cannot make use of your phantom. Yeah, that's not what you want to have happen. Yeah. You have one garage. Joke's over. I'll You're give up. Dead. Back up completely. Careful now. Cage triggered. Okay, I'm just spin the one way. That's fine. I should not have reloaded there, I, I had enough bullets. Okay. It's still probably pretty no, safe because well, oh, I, 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 oh, I thought people would be swimming to the one way. See, so, yeah, this is why the skate is a little bit risky. Because not only does it block off their site, but it blocks off your site as well. And they can just like they can just spam through the cage. This is what I would do, I would just spam it. Because you don't really have anything to lose. One of the uses been happening with that cage is that, is that my enemies will push into the cage. Mm. It is what I'm used to happening, but well, <laughs> but uh, like if they choose, choose a spray, then I am kind of screwed. That is true. Generally, good players are not supposed to push through smokes or push through cages, unless maybe they have multiple people to swing. But if I win their shoes, yeah. I would just like wait outside of it and then maybe try to look for a one v one at and someone at heaven or something. It's not bronze anymore, is it? <laughs> yeah. Or I would flash because they have three flashes. Yeah. Like they can phoenix flash, they can Owen flash. This is probably a, a perfect time to Omen flash because it, it would catch everybody but, uh, backside here. Like it would catch you mm -hmm. and the jet, and then you guys would be like screwed. They're all here, they're all here, boys. Rain is big. Oh my god. They're up, 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 up. Oh, that was a bad dry peak. I shouldn't have dry peaked that. Yeah. They're all here, they're they're all here that was one of the most That was like the, like the greatest thing I probably regretted from this match. Like this dry peak right here. Rain is big. Oh my god, he teleported away last second. I think what I would have done is that I would have come around to this side of the column and then just break the wall. So that enables your people, your teammates, teammates at heaven to have a better angle. Don't help me. And for some Makes reason, they keep this wall up. But like, breaking the wall should be like top priority. So that as the enemy team is like running onto site, they can't rely on the wall to like block view of heaven. Now they have to worry about heaven and they have to worry about someone playing around the wall with like a shotgun or something. 
makes sense. What? Do it, boys. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard now. Like I'm. All right. I'm toggling. Buy me a marker oh, right this now. Beside the force, so. Thank you. That goes there. <clears throat> this goes here. I'm assuming somebody on your team has an up, so we should try to play around that up. I think I should. I, I think I should probably uh, down, stop down, putting down, down that case right there, and like instead put down two one-way cages. That'll probably be a better setup for B. Yeah, I agree. Gosh. The one-way is really strong. Now nah, they're all gonna die here. Don't worry. Watch this. I vote. I vote. They might rotate again. I feel like this rotate through seed spawn is like. Now nah, they're all gonna die slow here. Don't and worry. Watch this. It's not necessarily to be this safe. Your whole team is like alive, and then. Sky is already in heaven, so I'm like, worried about losing heaven control. And like, also too, like... Nah, they're all gonna die here, don't worry. Watch you, this. You're hard voting to here, but you don't know if somebody is like, mid. Like, you, you give also giving up complete mid control. I was under they the assumption that we already gave it up in the first place, but then again. What'd you say? I was under the assumption that we already gave it up in the first place, because, but then again. Um, the, you know, I probably yeah you're right. I probably should have rotated their mid to to take in a quick peek. And you want me to just sit and vent or? I mean like like you can hold mid so that your team can not have to worry about mid. True. Like rotating to see this one here and then like five stacking at a site is only if like you know for sure that the enemy team all 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 five enemy team are here. But even then it's still kind of iffy because like if you know all five like or a then you can like flank through mid or flank through push to B or whatever to secure the map control, but... I, I, I just, yeah, and this is my own personal aversion here, like, I personally do not like fighting mid for some reason, like, I just need to aim bad on it, so... I guess, uh, yeah. I mean, like, you don't have to necessarily push through mid, but you just have to, like, watch over it, so that if you were, let's say you were in uh, B heaven right now, you can, like, look from, peek from B heaven through mid, and maybe hold, like, a non-committal angle, just so that you you watch over you indirectly watch over uh, ropes for your team. Makes sense. Yeah. Never mind. What the? Oh, we're gonna push with our raise. Hold W. With your knife out. Oh, they're on that thing. They're on that thing. My bad. Can you see this thing? Oh, it's too slow. Oh, they're on that. So you gotta look at your body language. Like raise is like ulting. She's holding W. Wanna push it for That means knife out because you're too far away. Now we're here, okay, now we're ready to like try to raise out, but just keep watch of raise because it looks like she's she's like really antsy to make first contact. Just like watch mm -hmm. the raise, watch the raise. Don't even look at your cross here. Just like ignore that. Just look at your raise. It's like mm -hmm. here you shouldn't really be swinging because no one can like really trade you out. Just look no, at your raise. I, like I, I didn't swing. I, I, I jiggled that for information intentionally. Okay. That's fine. Like just watching the rays, watching the rays, I'm just looking at her positioning, looking where she's going. Looks like she's about to peek. But when she peeks, we, we want to peek as well. That thing. Oh, they're on that thing, they're on that thing. Bad. Right, she's peeking here, we want to peek as well. She dies to an op shot, we want to take this ASAP. We take this ASAP. It's just like an op battle, bro. Yeah, this is too late. Yeah, and, and I didn't trade that because I was afraid of the op. Well, the op has like a huge delay, right? So this op shot gets spent on raise, but the next three seconds, you can, they're like 100% vulnerable. Like you can like just spray them down and then like even kill them. Well, maybe not with a, with a, with a specter, uh, not specter, um, singer, but, yeah. but at least you can like, you, you should still pick, you should still pick out because it's free. But here, it's no longer free because now, now the shot is ready. Yeah, they're, they're on this little thing. Is it off? Oh, you got it, you got it. It's possible. Oh my god. Run, run, run! Oh my god, no. Ah. That's a good try. Oh. That's a good try. That's good, that's good. That's one. Ew. What are you? That's a pretty good yeah. round. Yes, this should do. I got a job. You want to play? Let's play. Is that already here? Probably should have calmed the omen smoke on B. Yeah, you should come like Mid. all these footsteps that you hear in garage. Okay. You're hearing a lot. I would, I would come at least three. 
Uh, one question though, like, how, how do you focus on on both that kind of stuff and like your your own game at the same time? Because like I, I used to I used to focus on that kind of stuff a lot. Like I would always bottom frag, and like I'm like and, and now that like I'm start I I've gotten used to like calming less and like like focusing on you know, my stuff more. Started to get better and better fra frag numbers, and I started to like get to a respectable place on the scoreboard. I'm kind of having a hard time balancing that. It's part of the same reason why I don't play smoker, because like. It's really hard for me to focus on what I'm supposed to do for my team and wh what, I'm, what I'm doing at the same time. Well, your main goal, or well, main value to your team is coming in this situation. Besides, like, um, bottom fighting is okay, like you're playing side fighting, bottom fighting is okay, like the, the main value you bring to your team is slowing down pushes and gaining information. Not necessarily like just killing everybody. So, like, not sure, like, if you mean, like, like, here, like, if you were playing for yourself, does that mean, like, you would just, like, hard hold this this push, like, by yourself and get two, three picks? Is that what you mean? Not gonna lie, that's kind of the idea that I got from Reddit on how Sentinels was to hold a sight in silver. <laughs> well, if you can get two, three picks, like, like that every single round, then, like, you're probably not gonna be silver, but, like... Here, your your job is as likely just to get information and then relay that to your team. Like what, like even if you weren't cipher, like that's still your general goal because your the defenders are like always spread thin across the map, and most likely you're not going to be able to fight on one v two or one v three, etc. Yeah, I forgot to mention this question earlier, but like um yeah, like uh, the greatest thing that I'm looking to learn from this is like. How do I, like, I know that, like, you can just do your job and you'll win matches, but I'm looking to do more than my job so I'll be able to get out of this rank. And okay. and, and, and so, like, I'm, I'm looking for the stuff that I can do that could be, like, that, 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 would, that would make me do more than my job. I would say if you're going to do more than your job, then you want to lurk and get more map control and more information than you would normally get. So actually, let's go back to the previous one. That would be a good example. You want to look when you when you know for sure that the enemy is not going to be in a certain area. This goes here. So this is the previous round. We don't hear anything garage, and then Silver says enemy spotted A. So if you want to like do more than your job, your your job right now is just to rotate. But if you want to do more than that, then you can take the risk and push the garage right now, right? You push the garage, you get the orb, well actually you don't need the orb, but you push the garage, you let your team know like, hey, B is completely clear, you guys can stack A, and as you continue pushing from B through mid, you can say, hey, mid's completely clear, I'm going to play slow, I'm going to flank through through sewers and get behind them, etc, whatever, I'm going to cut off rotations, right? That would be mo doing more than your job, because it's like a high risk kind of play that is you also relatively high reward. That makes sense. Thank you for telling me about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to employ that. Yeah. So then, like, the next oh, round... I... Yes, this this round good. where we hear a lot of people... You want to play? Let's play. Is that already here? This can. You hear a lot of people coming in garage. Your, your job right now is just, like, to stall as long as possible. And then... Yeah, I guess if, if you kill two, three people, and then, then you're, like, hard carrying, but that's not really reliable, right? Unless you're... You're a diamond player in silver or something. Okay, so should I have, should I have caged upon hearing footsteps or should I cage upon cam contact? Probably cam contact is safer. Yeah. But cam when you think they're in the hallway, whether that means like you hear them in the hallway or the cam sees them in the hallway. In, in that sense, the other cam that you mentioned to me would be a better one because because that would definitely tell me when to put up that cage. Yeah sense but here like coming is really important because you need to tell your team like hey there's at least three people garage can i get some help at b or can you guys start rotating etc or at least you can come and say hey there's at least three b or maybe maybe you see all five b then that's a huge indicator to tell like your a players like okay either you ro hard rotate or you you lurk and flank and like push mid or push a or whatever get the orb like take all this map control, right? While you continue stalling. Sense. Mid. 
You can also okay. call that uh, Omen just use both his smokes, so he's not gonna have another smoke for like 30 seconds. Trying to break that turret. Yeah, he's still going for so long again. You get your one free kill on the on the stage, and you get out. Yeah, like here, you're still kind of punching. I, I shouldn't have I wouldn't I shouldn't have wide swung that far. I was I was thinking out the cage, but yeah, like um, it, it wasn't exactly that free of a kill because like I, I st I, like I kind of whiffed. I'll be honest here. If I just like got the kill quickly, I, could, I probably could have backed out easier. But yeah, chamber fifty three. The only thing too that I like to do is like, if you know that the enemy team has a sage and like they like to do this sage entry, is that sometimes I'll just like play on the other side and just break the break the sage wall, and then that Makes one sense. will be like enough to like stop the push. Makes sense. And, and even so, uh, that one way is still good even if I'm on that side of the wall because uh, that one way protrudes halfway into sight. Makes sense. I'm holding the moment we can the moment we start taking their money off of them and they can't buy ops then we win. This goes here. I like this. Uh, I like this, th this cage was an after uh, th that can was an after that. I probably should have put it before I jumped down from heaven, but that wasn't what I was thinking about. Anyway. It's okay. I like this a lot. I like I like it when Sentinels don't just play the same site. You've shown to any team that you you're a B player, and now they're gonna expect the cipher to be at B, and they're not gonna expect any B at A, so this is really good. Okay, you gotta come to your team, you hear at least two pushing your lobby. Hit Reina 80. What the fuck is that, bro? He should, have picked, he should play off your contact. Here I would consider, it's kinda iffy, cause now you do have a... Um... So many wood screens. What the fuck is that, bro? How? Sky wood screens. Ow. Here it's kinda iffy, because like, you could get pushed right now, and then the only thing that can save you is this cage. But then uh, again, uh, was, I, I yeah. was waiting to pop the cage and rain a flash because I was, cause I, like, every single time before that, that was an indication of the push starting. And so I was going to cage as soon as rain a flash is what I was thinking. But this time, Jet picked off Reina, and so instead I was playing for footsteps. My, yeah. That was my idea here. Well, the point I'm trying to get at is that your position right now is like a one. In, it's basically a one and done position because you only have yeah. 20 bullets. You only have just enough bullets to kill one person at this range, and I'm like if. Two people push you, even if you're caged, like you're probably gonna die. You might kill one, but the other guy would just trade you out. So, I was thinking you want me to tuck all the way. Where do you want me to stand here then? Like, yeah. the, there aren't a lot of really good position, positions on the site except for elbow, as far as I can think of. I would probably get closer, actually, so that, like, I would hug this wall in front of you, directly like what your cross is pointing at, so that you get closer and you have. Maybe you, are, you can kill two people with one clip from. That range. From what I understand, you should you should try to peek farther away from corners, so they so they see your shoulder later. Uh, true, but then you just, you have a cage that, you, that you're working with. Don't and, matter. That is true. And um, you also have a stinger, so like at long at mid to mid range, which is this like kind of mid-ish range, like stinger is is like kind of bad, right? <laughs> like yeah. maybe you get one kill and that that you spend your whole clip to do it to do that. That is true. But yeah, the main thing I'm worried about right now is that two people are gonna are gonna double peek you, and then maybe you kill one, but you're probably gonna die afterward. Nice, close spike, close spike, close spike. And that would have been more effective if I was sitting closer. I would that is you. that is very true. Yeah. Close spike, close spike, close spike. We kill the sage. I like it. We go behind cover. Reload. I would run, pick up a gun, and then reposition. Cause now, pick up she, her gun. Yeah. Okay. Cause she had a gun, right? She had a phantom or something. She had. Some, I'm assuming she had something. She, she, she did have a phantom, but I was worried about getting punished for that. I, I've been punished for that before. But you still have your cage, though. You want to like maximize the value of this cage. This is very true. Or at the very least, you should reposition. In general, whenever you, whenever you kill someone, or whenever you're, they, they become aware of your position, you should reposition. It, it, you'll see, you'll see that, I do, that I do that a little bit later in this clip, yeah. Nice, close spike, close spike. Like, one thing I'm thinking is that you can reposition 
to your right, or a little bit, a little bit to your right, and that, that corner, tuck yourself to that corner there. Yeah, reposition the hell. I, mean, I, I, yeah. I eventually recognized that that was the right play, but it was a, little, it was a couple seconds too late. Okay. Also, too, like if you were closer to that cage, like after that upshot, maybe you ha could have the option to like push the upper, maybe. It's very true. Yeah. Okay. Wait, almost coming from vents. We're getting flanked. No way, bro. That was just alt. That jet should hold him back. A little bit messy. See, this is a perfect example where, like, at this range, you spend, you have to spend your entire clip to get one kill. Don't peek that. Don't peek that. And the peek out for that is also really bad because don't think about it. Back. I, 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 I kind of forgot which corner that cage w should have been on. Like, um, like if I positioned the cage a little bit better, would it, it would have covered that entire thing and allowed me to slip into hell. But I missed it up. Yeah, but that, one, that was that, my bad. Knowing that, you should like not wide swing like this. You should still don't peek. jiggle. Yeah, don't peek that. Or flanks. What the fuck? Heaven, heaven. But you're, now you, you you're kind of separate from your team, but you don't really have any option. Seconds left. So do you have eyes on bomb? No, yeah. so you picked a bomb. Wait. Wait, oh. Oh. Bomb was dropped here. They probably picked it up when Phoenix ulted. Wait, almost coming. Yeah, he ulted, he got spiked. Yeah, over. You're ah. dead. They'll hold it back. That, that shouldn't have occurred to me. I, it, ne it never occurred to me that he would do that. Oh. Hmm. Right. That's, that's probably why hey, he, bro, like, that he just odd. like... Blindly yeah, push into sight. Like his knife is out. He's, he wasn't even like. He didn't even care if he won this one one or not. Like his goal was actually just pick up a spike. And then like as soon as you realize that. wall was a nice bit of misdirection. Yeah, I thought he was running on the site. Right. So with the heaven, you hear ropes. They're going ropes. That means they're, they're going to get bomb B. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I didn't catch I didn't catch the ropes detail. That would have been something great to know. Yeah. Then you could say Phoenix ropes going B playing bomb, and then you could say Omens alone A heaven. Wait, did they have spikes? Great ping. Now you can just like yeah, you have all this map control. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll pick up the up. Wait, see. they don't. Uh, uh, okay, so. I'll admit I am not very good with the op. <laughs> That's the reason why I didn't pick it up because like if I picked up the op, I would I would I would have whiffed twenty shots. Well, you just gotta practice and get good with the up. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I guess so. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I, I really don't think you are much because you don't have the op in this game. So I, I didn't really. Anyway. One enemy remaining. Shot. Oh, one boy is an op. Just like that. Nice, nice, nice. He's an op. Yeah, you just gotta run into him. Go together. Go you just down. gotta run into him. Okay. Keep flashing, Sky. Fight back. Trade, he has you know that they have an oppo. Their no. goal is to, is to jiggle peek as many corners as possible. He's probably holding the garage. He's probably holding garage. Someone push garage. Like all these white swings are really bad. Let's go, let's nice, go one nice. at a time. He's an op. Yeah. He says, okay, he has an op. He, just gotta... he could be garage oh, watching him right now. No, and like this is a white swing. Go now. And then okay, he could Keep be flashing sky. He could be super right there. You can trade. This is another white swing. Because he's an op. He's probably holding the garage. And then this is another wall, wide swing. Could be backside. It's another garage. wide swing. So Someone far we've garage. wide swing every single every single angle. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I um, I'll admit my, my my retakes are not the cleanest. I, I, usually usually I end up dying before I get to that stage of the round, and so it's gotta play. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like in general, not just necessarily like retakes, but like um, if you know the enemy team has an oppo, you want to jiggle peek as much as possible and like. Not commit on the initial peak. Uh, no. I was thinking in terms of time, but yeah. He's only garage. Someone push. Someone push that. Here, like you're kind of wasting time. You know that he's garage. You know he has an op, so you can coordinate something with your sky and, and say, either, hey, tap it. I'm gonna and then I'll wide swing for garage for you. We can like try to double peek him or like play off for that tap. But here, like, 
Yeah, you know, like you kind of just went out the small lane. Sky pushing. And then, okay, actually, so Sky is taking the shift. Sky is gonna do what I was just thinking. Yeah. So you tap it, then Phoenix is gonna peek. He's gonna be focused on you instead of the Sky. Push, push, push. Oh, he's gonna okay. 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 stick it. Oh, what the? Oh, I should have. Uh, yeah, I should have stuck it. That was my bad. Yeah, like uh, that was the other, the other greatest thing that I was really embarrassed about in this match. That, I kind of threw that. Yeah, but it's still pretty yeah, hard. If to I just out. stuck it, I think I could have had it. I think so too. Uh, if you don't mind, if I step in here, that even if you stuck that though, like your teammate got too nervous and he kind of just ran. And a lot of situations like that, they have like, like you were pretty much safe. I think the play there is for him to wait for them to push out because he didn't really have the angle in you. I mean, I think he did, right? That's why he was playing for garage. No, he didn't. He, he had to, he had to he jump didn't. for it. Like, he had to, he had to walk up a bit. He, well, I guess, kind of, but like... <clears throat> I mean, You can probably angle, see his like, shoulder, yeah. You're based right. Based on the angle, like, he can probably see your shoulder. Yeah, I just know. So, I don't know don't if push, you... Don't push that. The reason why I try to stay as far back from the wall as when I was confusing, so like, he would see my shoulder as late as possible. Push, 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 he's an ult. I don't know what the. I don't have time. Like, I, I, I thought I had it when I got off of it, but yeah. I, in reality, I was a second too early, so. On, like, getting half. Push, 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 he's an ult. I don't know what the. I don't have time. I'm damaged. If I had had it, then I would have had the time. Yeah, but, like, I, I, messed, I messed that up. It's alright. I think the the bigger the bigger issue was just like playing too passively over here and not realizing they took bomb. Don't peek that! Don't peek that! Like if you knew hey, they the, took bomb, there were a lot of mistakes really, that yeah. I wouldn't have that wouldn't have noticed on my own. So I would thank you for that. I I, I didn't I, I did not notice half of these. Or flanks. I only noticed in reality like around the one where I where I whiffed on the sage. Those were really the only two that I thought about. Anyway. Yeah, like the real mistake is like here where like you could have at least another ten seconds. If you just realize they picked up bomb, they're going B. And you can like already start rotating. As opposed to like over here, like yeah, you could play a little bit better, but it's like a minor detail. This this, this is like saving like a couple seconds, whereas other situation at, at the beginning you're saving like at least 10 seconds. Push, 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 use it all. No. Like yeah, whatever, I messed it up anyway. Fifty Phoenix fucking out. Uh, they're mid. They're gonna come to B. Careful now. Yo, we just gotta push in. If they miss the one off shot, we just gotta we really gotta push. What about the book his uh, TP thingy? Just so gotta push in. Going. If they miss the one. After you sway him, he's gone. I would yep. shoot. I would shoot his TP. Yeah, we just gotta push in. If they miss the one off shot, we just gotta. Like, you know, you gotta push in. Like. Spike down mid. We got spike here. We got spike here. We got spike here. We got spike. This is why this keeps the back to back. It cuts off your vision as well as my vision. Sage is on B side. On side. They're on side. Whole cap. There. Uh, I, 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 I was trying to make a play there. Anyway, I probably didn't need to actually much of that. Don't peek that gun up! Yeah, I think I like the one-way cage way better than that type of cage. Cause that, that type of cage like, kind of resets things back to neutral, so... That cage used to work quite a lot. People uh, pe people used to used to run inside the cage. Well... <laughs> the, the, that, was, that was before. And, and now people spray it. Yeah. Did someone get me? Jet? Yo, they can buy options. Actually, wait. Oh my God, they can't. Only that. Can you? You you're kind of doing oh, the same yeah. kind of stuff at B. Like, I really liked it when you like you switch things up. You went A like once or twice, but also like, don't be afraid to just like throw utility all over the map. Where like, if you if you're taking some gambles where like you think like they're not gonna come B, you can just like just leave just the cam at B and then maybe you put a trip at mid. Maybe you put a trip in ropes. Maybe you put a trip at A ramp. Maybe you put a trip at at a lobby, or whatever, right? Like, make mm -hmm. the enemy team feel like Cypher's trips, not just at B, but all anywhere in the map. Okay. 
Uh, what rank is he? And also something that didn't that, that, that didn't do a lot was lurking, which is something that I'm pretty sure Omen is known to do. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, that's another thing too. Like if you if you think they're not coming B, like if they you don't hear any any footsteps B, if 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 the enemy your tier team like sees a lot of people barging in from like a lobby or whatever like two three four whatever then like feel free to just like lurk and push up garage push up mid whatever so uh, that's actually one thing i have to talk about is like um when you're doing that kind of lurking slow walking stuff right do you walk peak every angle or do you jiggle every angle or do you crouch peak an angle usually a combination of walk and jiggle okay so you want to walk so that you're not making noise. That's the main thing. But then also you don't necessarily want to like slow peak every single angle. You still want to like kind of full spin but not make noise if that makes sense. Because like there's a, a minimum distance that you have to cover. Even if you're not holding your walking. Like if you're just like full running right. You can still like kind of full run peak at full speed. But still not, not make a noise. Because you haven't gone more than like a character's different character's distance yet. Does that answer your question? Yes, it was a question. <laughs> and, and like, you never crouch peak, right? Mm, I wouldn't say never, but generally you shouldn't. Okay. The, the main purpose of, of crouching is to dodge headshots. Usually in like a, a prolonged engagement. But the main downside of crouching is that now you're extremely committed to the gunfight and um, you're more vulnerable. I, I was I was only really thinking of crouch peaking because, because like, like I saw a lot in like the the recent blast finals for CS:GO, and, like um, it occurred to me how it could be really useful if you're peaking like when you know that you must be farther away from the corner than they are. And, like if you're crouch peaking, then you'll see their shoulder first by a long shot. It's like that's what I was thinking or what I had in mind. If you yeah. see their shoulder first, just you see you're seeing them first because you're crouching or. Like, um, like you if you if you crouch walk peak and angle then like on um, like you'll have plenty of time to react to their shoulder first i think that yeah. depends more so on who's further away from the from the corner i i noticed that like um in, in csgo like on pro environments uh, like when, when they knew that they, they had to be farther away from the corner because like on um, the farthest because like um the farthest other person could be from the corner was closer than their farthest distance they would usually crouch peek the angle and like um tag them in the shoulder if they saw them. Most so in CS:GO, most of the time that's because like people people are at the pro level are aiming at head level, and like going for just headshots, right? So the the crouch is to throw that off. Basically, makes sense. Yeah. So why do you say it's something it's something different in Valorant? I mean, the same thing happens in Valorant, but it's like um. Like, it's not really something you have to like, be worried about in Silver. True. It's not something to be worried about until, I don't know, maybe Radiant or something. And even then, it's still kind of iffy because, like, again, like, crouching has disadvantages, right? Like, you're more committed, you have less mobility, and generally, you want to be uncommitted. You want to have, have the mobility to to move around, jiggle around, or, dis or disengage. Makes sense. Okay. Like here, I would I would actually push into garage. If you want to take like a little bit of a gamble, to like mid -ish. push into garage. Maybe you push into garage. You get a little bit closer. You see your Silvo is like pushing into into uh, ramen. Mid -ish. Maybe you can get like a huge flank and like, help help him out. Mm -hmm. Yo, you guys keep holding that. I'm just gonna hold. That. Nice kill. Be or something. You guys, yeah, you, guys you gotta tell your team that it's bombs down. Here, guys. Holding that, I'm just gonna hold that. That's why I sprayed yeah. into that smoke in case Omen tried to TP into it. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I probably would have heard him land there now I think about it, so that probably wasn't a great idea. Yeah, but the, the point I'm trying to get here Yo, is that. You guys keep holding this, that, I'm just gonna hold that. This pushing you spray down here drops a spike. Like, did you hear that sound cue? So like, um, normally when the spike drops, if you have vision of it, then 
the, the, the in-game announcement is just like spike down, whatever, right? But because mm-hmm. like your one way like blocks view, you only have the audio cue to go off of mm-hmm. so that your team doesn't actually know that bombs down in garage. But you know because you just heard it drop. So you can tell the team, hey, bombs down B garage. Use your mic more. <laughs> yeah, use your mic more. Okay. Okay. You guys, yeah, they're probably gonna rotate, so I'm just gonna keep holding here, guys. You guys chill. Yeah, something embarrassing happens to me right here. CT. I'll, I'll just spend your trip. Oh my god, yeah, dude. Jump over. yeah, I'll just spend your trip. You got mid ish. So like, jumped over it. He knew there was gonna be on the ground. Like, I don't mean spend it on garage, I mean like. Here, you're worried about Omen, right? This is why you turn around. You guys, you're worried about Omen. You spray this, okay? That's fine. And then I don't know why you're looking over here. I don't know why you're looking over here. Wait. You guys, yeah, they're probably gonna rotate, so I'm just gonna keep. after you spray this, I would put a trip CT spawn, so that you don't have to like keep looking back. The reason you get knife is because you keep looking back. You're too worried about this Omen. So something needs to happen. Either you put a trip, or you get out of sight so that you don't get flanked from, you don't get pushed from two different angles. See the spawn in garage, or you push if you're a team, like regroup if you're a team. Like you see a sky, he's pushing to see the spawn. Maybe I'll push to see the spawn with him, and then while he fights his omen, then maybe I can get the quick trade on him, or I go to heaven or something, and then like now I, now I don't have to worry about see the spawn at all because then. They would, have, they would have to go to the sky and the rays before they get to me at B Heaven. Then I can continue watching Garage from Heaven, right? For example. So, so in conclusion, like, um, you need to know when to push and when to play passive. And I'm doing the wrong things at the wrong times, like pretty much every time. Yeah. CT. So the issue here is is not that Phoenix jumped over your trip. The issue is that you you you're in a situation where you're worried about too many angles at once. You're too worried about the CT when you could have done things to not worry about CT. Oh my god, dude. Joke's over! You're dead! Bro, what the fuck was that, dude? What? I can't, I just gotta shut up. I hate these guys. Goes here. Hey, honestly. I'll be fine. Oh, this is a nice Favorite spot. gun. <laughs> Probably thinking, finally he does this setup though, yeah. yeah. Right. You're right, I don't know why I didn't use this cam or This one actually proved to be much more useful than my other one. Yeah. In one round that I did use it. You hit play, you'll see. He's gonna TP out. Yep. Good kill, good kill. Good kill, good kill. Always a big TP. Is there a gun there, Shova? Can you tell me? I don't know. I wanna pick this. He's, he's waiting for you, he's baiting you. Um, I, I I I didn't I didn't peek it. Was the, the, the deal here? I was waiting for him to go. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Uh, comment- so I, I I knew that Reyna had the op last round, so I didn't peek it. I'm just commenting my thought process. Uh, but while this is happening, because you're you not you're not actively holding an angle, you don't have to like tunnel vision. I would actually just like look at the mini map and just look at what is my team doing. So let's go back to this. Okay, so we expect a TP. We spread one way, it's fine. So here, okay, we're tunnel vision a little bit. We're not too worried about what's happening on the map. Good kills, good kills. We do hear the audio kill down. After this is, is there up, a gun there, Shelva? Can you tell me? I will like look at the mini map. Like unless you plan to actively peek him, then okay, focus on your cross here. Get ready to take this engagement. But here you just collect the information, right? So you want to maximize your awareness as much as possible. While this person's tagged, while you're thinking, should I peek him, should I not peek him, should I just do whatever? Look at the minimap, see where is my team, right? We see a raise, is in heaven, we see a silver in jet or in ropes, we have bomb down in mid. Automatically I'm thinking, I should just give this up and rotate to mid. Yes. So like, knowing that, like, that's my game no, plan. I, I didn't do that because like, um, the, the, the Reyna was still holding me from, or from like, um, that spot, that spot, so like, I, yeah, I, I got the cam, I got the tag, so I'm run off. Then I should have run it, ran and rotated. Yeah. Yeah, but at least you have. One, step one is the awareness, and step two is like the plan. So the awareness is bombs down. The plan is rotate to mid, rotate to your team. It's also five v three. You should rotate to your team and not take any more risks. And then the execution of that is you wait for 
the, that person who is in grudge because they're, they're keeping you pinned down for now, you're worried about an opera, which is fine, but you have a cam. Your cam can help you tell you or help tell you when that person leaves. When that person leaves, you leave as well. Thanks. Okay, so they're still there. I would just, I would just keep camming. Okay, so you, the tag tells you that they're gone. Now I'll rotate to outside, get out of B, get to mid. Like there's no point in holding this anyway. Uh. You see something or no? Oh. But the, uh, the reason why why I didn't push this more aggressively is because I knew that both Reyna and Chamber had ops, and so like um. And it's so like, I'll, I was waiting for confirmation that they were both there. As soon as, like, and you'll see, as soon as I saw that they were both there, I ran until my footstep, uh, footstep radius was, like, um, invisible. Okay. They're all there, they're all So, I'm not as, like, against this look, but I think right now it's actually too high risk. Because your team has, uh, still has bomb down, right? I don't think they ever picked it up. Yeah, your team has bomb down, and it's a 5v3, oh, boy, eventually man. it's a 4v3, eventually it's a 4v2. Now it's a 4v2. Like, you don't have to take these risks. They're all there, they're all there. One enemy remaining. Yo, pick up guns, pick up guns. Yo, he shot, yo, he shot, he shot, he shot, he shot, he shot, he shot. Oh my god, thank god, pick up the off. Pick up the off, Cypher. Pick up the off, Scott. Double offs? Can I get one? Switch. But like, the reason that this is like high risk is that you're alone and you're the only one anchoring B right now, or you're the only one who can like secure B. Even if you uh, rotate through mid and then like stay alive, you can still semi hold B because you have a cam. cam. But here, like you're pushing through all garage, you don't know necessarily if someone happens to be They're in garage right. or like outside a garage waiting for whatever random reason. And then like maybe you die and then like suddenly it becomes a lot more losable compared to mm -hmm. if you just stay with your team, trade them out. Play, basically play numbers because like there's four against two they can't realistically kill everybody at the same time or like they can't kill two people at the same time right so you can just like just trade people out to explain my own rationale and why i went on this lurk in the first place it was to cage them in yeah and yeah it, it does make sense it's just like be careful about it because it, it is risky yeah. And then in risky. Yeah, it was in, very risky. In situations where like your team is has up, like has a huge advantage, then that means that generally you don't have to take those types of risks. When the enemy team is disadvantaged, they have to take the risks to like make the run winnable, right? Yes. Yo, he shot. Yo, he shot. This is my source here. He just said the one way. Yeah, it's probably fine. Ah, uh, yeah. And I was like, like, nope, I can't pick that up. <laughs> Yo, Sky, maybe hold A. I don't know. Why not? Oh, peak. Kill, so How you too much? As soon as results, that's like a huge cue that she's gonna hold W. She's holding W, you're still looking at this wall. You're looking at this wall. You're looking at this wall. Okay, so now she's in a gunfight, you're not able to do anything. This vase dies, you're not able to do oh, anything. No fucking way. There's two like, yeah, vase is like making an extremely risky, like bad play, but you can still get some sort of value out of it. Maybe you could have traded out, maybe you can get more information, whatever, something. But no. this whole time, you're just hiding backside while this happens. Sandy and Phoenix bro, keep losing. Out. I'm, I'm trapped, I'm you trapped. You will not kill my allies! I'll rotate out. Okay, back, Sky. My ult went through. So let's, let's take it by your top You kill Phoenix. Would you go? Let me continue hiding. What are you thinking here? I'm thinking is, uh, look, like, uh, okay, I need to make sure that I'm truly safe to get out of here. So what I was going to do is I was going to jiggle that close corner a couple times, and I was going to do a, do a wide like a wide swing, or like not really a wide swing, but like I'll like I'll like peek out wide and then qu then quickly run backwards, and then like um, if that was clear, then would have like made the cross. Okay. I'm trapped. I'm so it's going through my head. But the reason why I was even playing behind this thing in the first place was so I could wallbang uh, wallbang someone who ran into my trip. At least like that that was my idea. Makes sense. Oh. Not kill Right here's a queue that it's relatively safe where like the only thing to be worried about is Arena. But I think Arena took a shot earlier, so let's go back. 
this goes here. So you do have the right idea. You kill Phoenix, you jiggle, jiggle garage to see if it's clear, and you reposition and or you regroup your team. Cage triggered. Yo, Sky, maybe hold A. I don't know. I kill the omen. Looking at like, looking at the minimap right now because like there's nothing else to look at. Well, maybe you could also look at your rays, but you see that Solo is like fighting somebody. It's two picks. Kill, so that yeah. means Chamber died in ramen. Bro, no Why? fucking way. Okay, Rian has an op. She's garage. My ult went through. Probably should have made the cross right then and there. Samdian. Made, made the cross. No, never mind. Phoenix wasn't dead yet. No, yeah. I'm, 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 fires out. My ultimate. I'm, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. You, you see the res or heal the res, whatever. That means that two people are ramen right now. The only person yeah. you have to worry about is the Reyna, who has an AWP. So mm -hmm. either Reyna is still garage and like keep you pinned down here, or Reyna is rotated to help cover the res, which is probably more likely. Mm -hmm. So knowing that, like I would jiggle this corner to bait the AWP shot just in case Reyna is still here, and then like swing out and then get out of this position. Okay, back Sky. Okay, so you know he took the shot at something else, so that it's hundred percent safe to like just swing out right now. Okay, like this, reposition, get your team. They play. Yeah, they're still mid for now. Right here. Nice, nice, nice. Get back, get back, get back. Damn it! I think you too early. Nice. Yeah, Sky was nice. reloading. Just like a, a tad, one or two seconds too early. This guy was reloading. Yeah. But you did have the right idea. Like, play, play I should side. probably pay more attention to my teammates. Oh, yeah. like, oh no. Not, like um, I, I probably focused too much on the idea that that it was me holding you back instead of my teammates, and like um, I, I probably I in, ingrained the idea too far in, and so now instead of like. Like, I, I don't blame anything on my teammates, I just blame everything on myself. Even in reality, I could have gotten more value by playing off my teammates. Yeah, I think you can't control your team, but you can control yourself. And sometimes your However, team that doesn't mean that you should completely ignore your teammates either. You should try to make plays off of what they're doing. Right, I agree. Um, even, even about that, that was actually a mental block that, that I didn't realize was there. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, I have a question about, like, playing for your team and stuff like that. When you're in a situation where your team is finding it difficult to, like, either defend or attack, like, you're you're playing on the other side, and you have two people who die, like, how do you, how do you counter that? Like, I'm not, I'm not saying, like, I, I don't really blame my team for what happens, it's just, like, how do you get value out of a situation when it always becomes, like, a 3 people? When your attack just never pans out. I know that sounds really good. I think I have to give specific situations. I think uh, even this this round here is a, is a good example where like... Uh, like Raze ult somewhere, right? Or was it the previous previous she ulted, round? She ulted at the main, I think, right? I'll be right back. You need to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah. You can continue on. Camera, cage trigger. Cage trigger. Was it this one? Yeah, she ulted yeah, something. Yeah, here, right? This is a good example. Yo, Sky, maybe hold okay. A, I don't know. So you see what Raze does, right? Raze is like... Yeah, yeah. She pops her ult. She like does a Sasha jump. She makes like a huge ballsy play, right? And a normal person would just be like, well, Raze did a dumb play and then I'm making the right play, right? But you two are making two different plays, so... Oh yeah, that's what makes yeah. it even harder for you. Right, if so... You, if you can't get any value out of one, then you get so you're losing going. If Raze is not gonna join you on your play, then you should join her on her play. That's the point I, I want to make. So it's better that even though it's it's, it's like it's a really bad play, right? Even though it's a bad play, yeah. it's better that the whole team is like on the same page. Like there's one point that the whole team is on the same page than the actual play itself. I noticed that personally when I when I tend to like call shots, I do like I, I don't know if it, if a team is willing to listen, we tend. To. Because well, I usually recommend things like, like I have this one spectacular example. I was playing on Haven two days ago. I was playing Omen, and um, I was pretty much telling them like, like this is like a big thing. We like we usually have trouble. This is like me and Solo Q. We usually have trouble like getting onto us. So I would tell them, like, all right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk up, and then as soon as we can get as far as we can, we 
on this, like, bum rush the site. Because there's gotta be, like, two of them. Like, it just, it worked every time. It's so good in the lower elos to just... I, I don't know, that feels like the one thing that holds a lot of people back is just team play. Or, like, team play. Because everybody thinks it's about skill. And if that were true, I'd... I don't know, I wouldn't be in silver still, I feel. But I do make a lot of mistakes, I know. Well, I think there's more skill than just aim skill. I think there's a lot yeah, of absolutely. Yeah, a lot of awareness and a lot of mm -hmm. game sense skill. Yeah, one hundred percent. There's a lot of situations I've lost because of my awareness. Yeah. It's that panic that like I think messes with a lot of people. <clears throat> I think I'd ask though, like, do you think my aim skill has any issues as far as what you've seen? So far it seems okay. Like I haven't seen many one v ones that you're losing specifically because of your aim. Hey, you're left handed too. Yeah, I don't understand why like, people don't left-handed, honestly. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'm, I'm actually left-handed. That's the only reason I would do it. If I were right-handed, I'd probably still be doing right -handed. The reason why The reason why I left-handed is because, like, um, if I'm right-handed, like, I'm right-eye dominant, so it covers up way too much of my vision if the gun model's on my right side. Mm -hmm. Like, the left side took a little bit of getting used to, but, I, but I've never right. gone back because it's so much better. It feels good for me. It just feels normal. <laughs> well, what's your opinion on this, by the way? I notice a lot of people are either ardently left-handed or right-handed. Oh, I guess I don't really have any strong opinions. I think you have to choose some side that you give up vision on, whether it's left or right. Yeah, that happens. I'm right-eye dominant, so I find it a lot easier to give up the vision on my left side than my right. Well, one thing I notice, it's like easier to hold some angles. Cause, you know, you're just handed. Like, what, one hand or the other, you're going to miss on them. You can't hold if you're, if you're doing... You can't hold this one as well if you're doing right hand. I mean, you still can. Like, it's it's less of a thing. Anyway, should, should we keep going? Yeah. What what elo is this, by the way? Like, is this silver gold or? This, this is silver one. Silver one, okay. I mentioned earlier in the video I was gold one, but like I, I met a string of eight AFKs nice. and throws in a row, and like <laughs> I I, I kind of rage quit and like um. Yeah, I, I came back after a little bit, but I never, I, I was never, never able to recover. No, I get it. Yeah, I hit gold like two weeks ago, yeah. but then I dropped back down. Yeah. So we're still silver three. Something I really like doing a lot. That peak, you know, I climbed out of iron with that peak, but from defense, like from, no, from like, like, I, I, I do a lot on the T side, like I ping, and then I, and then I immediately go up, like um, crouch, peek, and spray. For me, it was just like that same angle that you're holding on CT side, like you know ropes. I would literally hold there with a the vandal, and people would one by one T side that corner that you peek from, and I would get like one, two, three headshots, and that's what that's what got me to bronze. Well, what's your opinion ridiculous. on that, Mingo? On on what? On um, like ping, immediately crouch, peek, and spray. Um, sort of the classic. <laughs> I mean, I well, might get yeah, you killed. Like you get the you get the idea. Um, I mean, yeah, you peek. This is fine. And I don't see why you need to crouch. Like, I'm, like right off the start, like I swung and crouch peek that angle and sprayed it. Like, Correct me if I'm wrong, but crouching is actually like it makes it easier at farther ranges for the enemy. Especially yeah, there. but like most of the time when you're holding that vent angle, you're holding for head levels, head, head level swings, aren't you? It's like, like if you immediately swing around the corner and, and crouch peek. Not only that, but it also makes your spray more stable. Like, you, they're usually not right on where your ping is. So, like, um, you got a little bit more, you know, to shift a little bit left or right, depending on what the situation is. I guess so, but I think the, those details don't really matter. What matters more is about, like, what you, you and your team decide to do this round, and how you play off your team. Okay, so let's go back to this, actually. So start of the round. Let me ask you, what what are you thinking? What is your what is your plan for this round? Okay, so my plan is it is like um swing that corner, spray that vent angle, so uh, like um it take take some mid control, like um like if the sage walls and I'll, I'll just break it or something. Like I like breaking two panels because like um it makes my life easier. So we're not like always like on in, and then uh, and like I double cage vents while I sneak up into B heaven. Well, that's not always the way it goes. Like, like sometimes I'll, I'll linger around in like mid 
or like I'll I'll play in my own cage in vents to cut off the rotates, which is what I end up doing this round. Okay, makes sense. So you guys are doing a two two split. I like it a lot. So you guys are pushing the garage. We spend the arrow. Personally, I would like to save the arrow for sight and like use your cage here instead. But that cage is actually not necessary anymore because the arrow already clears uh clears ropes. My god! Oh, you guys were playing without smoke. Huh. Yeah, this is one reason why I think like smoke's nice to have, but it's not really <laughs> is that necessarily needed on split because of like how tight a lot Oceans. of corners are and you can get away with yeah. like, cages, you can get away with jet smoke, etc. Or even just right. spending utility because you have a lot of um, info utility. Like you have a dart, right. you have a dog, you have drone, you even have raised boom bots. No one else. But generally it's also like considered to be not a good move when you play Sova on this map, right? Like I've always known that to be the rule. That's why I don't really play more. Yeah, I don't like Sova on this map. The verticality is just too bad for Zolt. Yeah, generally this is a bad map for Sova, but you can probably still play it in Sova, it would be fine. Cage mm. triggered. Okay, I don't like this. Like, there's no point in like trying to cut. I mean, I mean, like, cutting off rotations is good, but your team like can get you can get guaranteed value by helping your team right now. Just like secure site, cause site's not secure right now. Right now, you're kind of gambling that your team does take the site without you, and then you can like make a solo play and like cut off rotations. Nice. Like, this could go. This could go badly very easily, right? You kill chamber, or maybe you don't kill chamber, and now your team like loses mid control, or you do kill chamber, and then you get traded out, right? Nice. Oh, oh, my, God. God. my idea was my idea was here like even if I die without a trade, I still get info. It, it was it was a five v three at that point. Uh, like um like if I if I go down without without like um getting a kill, then like I, I would at least gotten how how many players were rotating through event. This time I happened to spot all three, so that that we end up throwing this round because people pushed up anyway. Okay. Actually, let me take some some notes on this. So some issues are try to play uh, aggressive when you know that they're not not pushing B garage. This is defense in particular. Two, try to play more safely when your team has an advantage. And then some minor details like. Uh, Play closer when you have the best stinger. So play to if your me those after we're done. I'll thank you all. Yeah, I'm just I think you're a lot anyways, but like yeah. Just so I don't forget, so we can reiterate these at the end. Go through our guns. Yeah. Oh. Holy. Special number. So like um. Did everyone die last time? Is that why? Yeah, okay. Like, oh, so, it, 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 like, but like, we got spike plant and, and we and we got like most of the kills, and that was my idea. We could all afford spectre light shield. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you guys are just like aware of that, yeah, and buying as a team. I throw this round yeah, because, uh, because I wasn't paying attention to the mini map, and I went in without any support. And we, guys, because we have no money if we don't. This peaks too early. You notice? We gotta win here, guys, because we have no money if we don't. Like, picking ropes is not necessarily a bad idea. The problem is that your server is not with you yet. When you make this peek, your server is nowhere on your screen. Until now he's on your screen. Now he's ready to, like, almost still kind of not ready, but a little bit more ready to swing with you. But now you already finished your peek. So potentially you could have died, and then server would really cheer really you out. I'm gonna lurk. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 yeah, and like I didn't. Cyber, I thought Silva had pulled up behind me oh here, and, 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 and like, I'm like, oh, like, oh crap! Like he, he didn't. And, like I realized that at the moment that Omen made that peak. I probably should have paid more attention to the mini map. Like I'm uh, with with me like creeping up like that. Uh, I didn't notice it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say if, when you say like I'm gonna lurk, and you're looking mid by yourself, and your whole team is pushing B garage. What I will actually do is is try to go to your right. Like the little cubby there, not not into sewers, but to your right with like the cubby, little yeah. barrel, right? Like this place that you're trying to get toward before the omen picks you. If you can like get to this position, this is like a really strong like flank. 
where you can just just hide there. You collect information. You hear people are ropes. You hear people's heaven, whatever. You can hear when they're they're running away, and then that's like your. I think you can also hear the CT rotate, right? Which is a little say? too far. Which is it? Also, you hear the CT rotate or the CT rotate from that spot. I think you're too far. You can hear ropes. You can hear A heaven, and you can hear B heaven. Which is already a lot. There's like a lot of information you can relay to your team. Fortunately, while I was trying to get into this corner, the omen intercepts me, and I'm like, oh, yeah. wait, hold up. This is, this is bad. Cypher, come on. You got it. I'm oh, going to ask, ask the silver to stick around I'm until I'm going to ask the silver to stick around until I got into that corner, now I think about it. Money to tell, I would still try to get to the corner, quick line of sight, and then use your cage. Cypher, come on. You got it. But you kind of oh, panic a little God, bit, bro. thinking that like, you need to like run away. I, I, I got There are three of them. Jesus, they pushed up so much. Yo, you guys got spectators. Yeah. Here. <clears throat> oh my oh, god, bro. Damn. We, lost. we lost, we lost, we lost. Take flight. That was a bit unexpected. I guess one thing I could really say for that round is that maybe you could like wait for a drone, wait for a dog or something, but it's hard to say because like even I wasn't really expecting an op. I would, I would think they would just continue bonusing. Oh, it barely droned like, that round. What'd you say? Oh, so, so, so I barely droned during this match, so I, I knew he wasn't going to do that. I mean, you can ask, ask Silver, hey, drone. Or maybe he's not joining because he's not sure when his team's gonna go in. He's not sure when his team's gonna make use of his drone. But if you just, right. if you explicitly comment like, "Hey, Silver drone this," then he's more likely to do it. At least he should be more likely to do it. Exactly. You hear your like? Oh, I'm, 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 can you pause real quick? I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh my Discord because like um like uh the, the video quality's starting to go down. So. Okay. I'm back. Is it better? Yeah. Okay. So here you're, you're not really on the same he's page like as your team. Everything. You're camming, like, but he's also droning. So now you're, exactly. you're stacking your info utility. Either he drones yeah. first, then you save cam for ropes, or you save cam for be heaven. Probably yeah. be heaven's better. Or yeah. you cam first, and then he drones closer, like drones like closer to mid. Well, they're not vents. More they're communication, not yeah. Never mind. So, so he, he did one bend. Dude, push him while he's. No way, I got him, bro. Oh, I guess so, I guess. Yeah, uh, I've got a cage. You can actually just push this for me, too. I would I'm actually kind of consider doing that. Yeah, they're, they're, uh... Normally, you just want to cage us off, push B heaven, but because you, that, mm -hmm. that, um, that chamber or whoever has an op, and you're caging it to force a close range situation, you can just like go into there and like force a close range uh, phantom versus op, which you can easily win. Here? I've got a cage. I'm watching push. heaven, I'm watching heaven, I'm watching play, heaven. Play, 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 Okay, we'll cage this. I'm watching heaven, I'm watching heaven, I'm watching heaven. Always think about as your cages as like mini smokes. Play, play, play. So like here, like throw a cage over this box, activate it, and you play, no longer have to like peek CT spawn like this. Yeah. Also, let's speak a little bit early because uh, so is it's like too busy, I'm watching that. too busy darting. Nice, nice. Where is the vent? Where is the vent? Phantom there, Phantom there. I will put a trip. Nice, nice. Where is the vent? It says rain is events. I would consider putting a trip in mid, maybe mid mail or something, or mm -hmm. I would put a trip on on here like CT stairs so that I can like watch mid mail or something. Where is the vent? Phantom there, Phantom there. I got there. greedy here. Oh, this time hold Yo, the fucking sight. I'm holding, I'm holding flank, I'm holding flank. Camp, camp as hard as you can. Get closer. I'm holding, I'm holding flank, I'm holding flank. Camp, camp. This is not necessarily bad, I mean like, it's probably a bit risky, cause like, your team is 5v2, there's no need to push up this far. At least, play for team. Camp as hard as you the can. The issue is that, you're not playing for team. So over on our, on our left here, is like, peeking out, or getting ready to peek out, and we're still at the top of the stairs. So, you should get to... Yeah. Either to the middle of the stairs or maybe to the bottom of the stairs and be ready so that this peak happens 
and then you can train. Rain at 70, bro. Yo, Sky, yeah. Yo, the, um, the, nice, the... good kill, good kill, good kill. Move, move away, move away, they know where you are. Hi, bro, 139. Yeah, you need to reposition. Put a ship, reposition. Where is he? Okay, we didn't check the map. Okay, we're gonna up. So Chimmy has the up. Where were they? Yeah. So knowing that, in one one four situation, he's more likely to save. So you should. Like, like, at at point, this point, yeah. I knew he was saving, but like I was just kind of screwing around. So uh, don't take anything I was doing here seriously. No, he's probably holding here. Okay. So another thing too is that when you when you're no, exiting, holding. you want to be careful about he might be hiding somewhere. Like he could be hiding ropes. You can die to an up shot. It could be sewers. Here, like here, you, your back is turned to sewers. Well, now it's okay because now Raze is like peeking, but be yeah. careful about uh, when, pe when you know people are saving, you should expect them to be looking for exit kills. True. I thought that was him for a second. He scared the hell out of We need it. And uh, also be careful about exiting by yourself. If you look at the minimap, your whole team is exiting the garage. You're alone in. In mail slash heaven slash mid, like this could put a, a potential isolated one one could happen, and your your team is nowhere near to help you. Yeah. Mm, all, right, all right, I'll try taking mid, but he always smokes it off, and I'm not trying to die. Like they always have an off there. I'm on my hand. Oh, they walled it. They walled it. We need to just pick off the Reyna or the Phoenix, literally, and we. Yeah. Okay. What are you thinking here? Huh? What, what are you thinking here? What's your game plan? An ironically good question. <laughs> now, I, I actually, I actually wasn't really thinking too much here. Uh, if, if I had to be honest, uh, I, I was like literally working on autopilot from pre from previous, from previous mid uh, like mid rounds. So, right, I, pro I I actually wasn't thinking at all during this scenario. Okay. Then I guess I'll give you my thoughts. So whenever I see a sage ball, I have two options. Usually I go with option one, which is break the wall ASAP, and then play off of that. The second option is you go somewhere else. Or a third option, which is less likely because the wall lasts so long, is that you wait out the wall. But usually it's difficult because the wall lasts so long that you, yeah. you spend a lot of time just waiting it out. So usually what I like to do is that I, I break the wall as soon as possible and then either I stick around or most of the time I just uh, I go somewhere else. Like maybe I break the wall and then start walking sewers and, and like look toward A or something. Or I break the wall and then rotate, go back to my team. Mm -hmm. Because uh, breaking the wall like puts pressure on the sage, puts pressure on, on the enemy team so that they have to keep somebody watching mid and they can't rely on the wall to give them that security and give that information that nobody is mid. Uh -huh. So like the longer that this wall stays up, the more and more value that it gets. I, I want this one to arrive. That's a good kill. I would break the wall. I somehow got that pick, but I gotta get out right there. I, was not, I, I didn't want to take the chance right. on breaking the wall because I was alone. And if Sage was also stacked on top of that wall with him, the, the that was what was running through my mind at that point. True, but then you can like, you have a smoke and watch play with here. You can like hide the right? smoke and spray the wall. Alright. Uh, uh, I'm more used to, to like Sova utility, like I, I play Sova on literally every map except this one, so like I'm not really exactly thinking about my cages that often. I probably should. I mean, not, not cages, I mean like you have a smoke, like, omen smoke like right behind you. That you can abuse, like right here. You can abuse the smoke, I mean, because you have a phantom, you oh, can abuse that right. as well. Yeah. So you can spray the wall, and they won't know which part of the smoke or where you're spraying it from. Alright, I somehow got that pick, but I gotta get out of there. Okay, I like this, we group the team, I like, I like the repositioning. Okay, what are we thinking here? We grouped over team, what are we thinking? HCT. Uh, that was my first thought when I got here. Take CT? Like push into CT spawn? Like push into oh, CT. No, like like a cage off CT. Oh, cage off CT. Okay. What else? I was going to trip CT too. I think. Okay. 
then, well, it, it get to a position that's not as problematic as, like, right behind that box, the plant box. Okay. What else? Was that it? That was it. All right. So, yeah, you had the right idea. You, you want to look to burn as much utility as possible and maximize your utility. Your team is, like... Like, they're about to secure site. Actually, it looks like they secure site because Ray is like, it's already deep into site. So, like, your team is about to plant, and then the, the immediate next phase is playing post plant, where you have all your utility down. You have cages set up, you have chips everywhere, whatever. You have your cam somewhere, watching the bomb, whatever, watching an angle. And maybe, lastly, you're playing um, near where engagements might happen so that you can uh, use your alts if needed. Yeah. Cover me, and then have it. Here he says, cover me. Immediately I'm thinking, I should cage. Either I cage him, or I cage CT, so cage some angle that he's exposed to, so he feels safe to plant the bomb. Mm -hmm. And have him. Yeah. Yeah. So what'd you say? Apparently that, that is not what happened. Okay. Yeah, I'm holding him. Yeah, we cage CT. Looks like, like, looks like I was playing, uh, playing with like half a brain today. Oh, he's having, he's having, he's having. The cage should have went first. Bomb is already planted. Now, caging CT is is less of a priority. I mean, still it's important to, to cage CT, but like, now it's like, the point of caging was to, was to ensure the, the bomb plant, but now the bomb's already planted. There's two heaven. Now instead of the dropping heaven, I should have caged so I can get out of there. Um, like cage to get around this heaven. Heaven. right here. Like, like, uh, I, I, now like instead of like dry peaking heaven right then, I should have just caged to get out of there and did a backside probably. Or cage right there, both work. Mm, I guess so. I'm more so thinking about the rest of the utility. Yes. Well, right. Q, I will cage you this over, or cage CT C spawn. Yeah. I'm watching heaven, I'm holding him. You ult is fine. We cage uh, oh, C spawn. When the cage goes down, I'm automatically thinking I should put a trip somewhere. Probably CT, so I can put a cage somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And then also, I want to spend my cam. I want to put a cam to watch heaven. I want to put a cam to watch the bomb. I want to put a cam something. There's, there's two heaven. Like, imagine if you had a cam already. There's two heaven. Three heaven. You don't have to, like. I mean, hugging this is fine, but now you don't have to be, like, worried about where is Phoenix going. Because you can use your cam, that'll tell you where he's going. Where he's going left, where he's yeah. going right, or he's dropping down to go CT spawn, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Right. right. Yo. And they should also cage. Don't so like, there's two heaven. There's two heaven. Every heaven. They're all heaven. I'm kind of expecting him to like drop down. Maybe I'll throw a cage right in front of us, to so that we have one less thing to worry about. We then we can just focus on on the left side of this this, Yo, this pillar. Yo, don't peek, don't peek. Right. So many ways mm. that you could handle this situation with, with your utility. I want to play here because you know they have an opera. I would, I would hug close to your solo so that both of you guys can more easily double peek. And again, you still have yeah. two pieces of utility that you can One use. Last player standing. Uh, uh, cringe offers you, dude. So, main issue is utility usage in like, this round where, like, you die with, like, really useful utility available. Uh, let's go, like. I find it incredibly ironic that, like, uh, like it, it's tilted the other way. What do you mean? Like, um, like uh, back then, like I used to always use all my utility, but with all my shots, and now it's gone back the other direction. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna push. So, Me and Razor are gonna push. What do you say my aim would suffice for this? Or, 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 would you for, for silver? What do you say it suffices for gold? I think so. For, I mean, aim can always be better, but like or, or, or Poppy stretching it. Mm, yeah, probably stretching it. But I don't know. You can still climb to Poppy pretty easily if you just like have a really big brain. Stay back, kind of. No way. I, uh, Yo. too aggressive. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna push. Me and Razor are gonna push. You guys stay back, kind of. Just minor details. Picking slightly too early, because this is the only one where Sova is not yet ready to swing. Now he's ready to swing. But, like, you could have died already, or he could have died already. Or the engagement yeah. could have been decided already. And then unfortunately no you guys way. are stacked together on top Yo. of each other. Yeah, guys. Oh. Yo, you guys might be. <laughs> this is the strat. 
Too early, too early, too early. Yeah. Chat is ulting. Look at when we decide to peek. Okay, Jiggles is fine. Jiggles is fine. Jiggles is fine. Okay, being non committal is fine. Okay. Perfect as well, though. Uh, you actually blocked your jet there. Your jet is like trying oh. to go left. <laughs> you actually oh. killed your jet. I wouldn't fight this. Unless you can, like, Guardian headshot them while bang, but you're more likely to just don't jump there. Don't jump there. There's no point. And by the way, after the after the um after the round, you'll see that I actually did your hard guardian headshots on the group of wall. Okay, so. great. It, it didn't it didn't entirely go to waste. Anyway. But again, like as soon as I see each place wall, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision about your, your gameplay, where you break the wall ACP, or you don't break the wall and you go somewhere else. Like this whole time that you're breaking the wall, like things kind of happen already. Look, look over raises, like this whole time, like this wall up is getting value. It's preventing your team from pushing through your lobby. It's forcing your team to like fight this awkward at ramps. Still the wall is up, still the wall don't is up, and then Raze is like, I'm gonna jump over jump the wall. There, don't jump there, there's no point. And now, like, Raze is like putting yourself in a one one against someone in the screens or sight. Luckily that person misses, and this wall is still up, okay, and now we break it. At this point, like, so many things could have happened already. Ray's could have died already, or Ray's could have got swung, or maybe Ray's won the 1v1 and we couldn't help her. Oh, sucker! But you're kind of stuck here now. Uh, now we'll rotate yeah, out. Yeah. I'll rotate out. Good game. It's only five. Still even like. No, no, what do I want? Yes, I'm lucky. Oh my god, oh. bro! I can't oh. do anything, bro. So like a big issue is that you you let the enemy team get too much value out of their utility. Oh. Well, like this wall like stays up for like more than 30 seconds when it should just get broken immediately. If you if you and your team are intending to hit A, or even if you're not intending to hit A, you, would just, you should just still break the wall and then dip out. Like, right? That would be a good, a good option. So like imagine you, you break the wall, and then that keeps pressure on the Sage, it keeps pressure on the Phoenix to stay A, even though that your team has already left and went T spawn going B or something. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Pull point over two, big sage wall is up. Don't let it get more and more value as the round goes on. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? No questions. Okay. So this is some notes I took from a couple of rounds ago. One, try to play aggressive when you know that they're not pushing. So for example, if you're in defense, you're watching big grunge. <laughs> If you want to make um, um, a carry play, I guess, <laughs> then one option besides rotating, like hard rotating through CT spawn, is that you can just push through garage, push through places where they're, where you expect the enemy to not be. And in doing so, you get you collect more and more information, or more and more confirmation where the enemy is not. Mm -hmm. So you can push through garage, you can from garage you can push through mid, you can tell your team that Hey, they're not B, they're all A, like that, when you say all, that's like a huge keyword, right? Compared to, you mm -hmm. say, there's three A, or there's four A, well, that means four, but the fifth person is still unknown. So that means that if your mid player has to be worried that someone could be mid, somebody could be lurking. But when you say all, then that's like, well, I can just like hard spent with my knife out and then not worry about a thing. Mm hmm and second bullet point number two, try to play more safely when your team has an advantage. There's several rounds where like your team has bombed down or your team has is in like a 5v2 or 5v3 situation and then you make like some risky plays and it ends up like you end up winning the round but it could have gone very poorly, very easily. 
And actually, I'll point out to an example. So one example on, I think it was like pistol round. Well, like your team yeah, is uh, and like, and like I, I played inside vents, and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. All, all of them are rotating their vents, they're gonna come through heaven. Cage triggered. Like here, it's a 5v4, 5v3. Like, there's no need to take this risk. You can take this risk if, like, you really need the picks because, like, your team is down, or mm -hmm. you really need, like, even up the situation. But your team is already. Nice. Oh, oh, there's so, like, even though you got the pick, now you've lost mid control. Nice. And, like, yeah, it's 4v2, it's still generally winnable, but it could have been, like, more guaranteed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then eventually, like, the enemy team wins the round. Two idiots. Oh my you could have, like, made it harder for the enemy okay. team. I'm not trying to. Yeah. And this round ends up getting thrown because of that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else. These are more of the major details. These are kind of minor. So, one round where you, you had a stinger and you were playing a little bit too far away. Try to play your, to your gun strengths. Uh, let's see what else. There's some situations like this ties into number one, but like, try not to play one and done. Try to always, or try to generally have a, an escape plan. Let's see, quick stage while ACP, don't want to get more value than goes on. Let's see what else. Um, calming is a big thing. Well, try to calm more as much as possible. Yeah. Get good at counting the like um, unique sound signatures, I guess, so that you can calm one, two, one versus two versus three plus or many. Mm -hmm. And another minor detail, try to rotate to mid when possible, instead of through CT spawn. And there's trade-offs, right? So as long as you understand the trade-offs, where like, rotating through CT spawn is, is safer, but it's longer. And it also doesn't get your team, or it doesn't secure your team any map control, compared to if you already have somebody in ropes, that you can say, hey, ropes guy, you rotate through a, uh, a heaven, then I'll rotate from B heaven through mid. Mm -hmm. So that rotates are more, more seamless and more efficient compared to the person in ropes, staying ropes, and then you're taking this long route through CT spawn, right? So that way, if the, the other way around, like, you're, there won't be any lapse in, um, in map coverage that your, your team has. Uh, let's see what else. Um, try to try to not peek too wide. Certain situations, you like since some situations were like when you had like the one way, and you were trying to peek off the one way, and you accidentally like peek wide and hard commit to too too many people at once. Too many people at once and find yourself, you know, 1v2, 1v3, etc. Let's see what else. Also, timing is a little bit of an issue where, like, um, too many times you're hiding, playing passive, while your teammates are playing aggressive. or making plays so one of Ray's alts is a good example where like there's at least two times where like she alts and like push into garage or your team is has like your jet as an operator and she's just like i'm gonna eagle peek into garage and like you're nowhere near to help to help them and even though like those plays shouldn't have be, be made the fact that they are being made and you don't like have control of that means like you have to adapt yourself instead that makes sense Okay. Uh, any questions so far? No. Can you send those notes to me? Yeah.
Honestly, this has been a bit of a revelation. I, I wasn't able to spot any of these on my own. Not, not, I thank you for spotting them out for me. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, sometimes I felt like you were squeezing water out of out of out of a rock. <laughs> oh, actually, so I didn't until now, now I think about it, it, it does make a lot of sense. And then until like the, the main thing, probably the the major major, is like um, not knowing when to play aggressive versus play passive. That kind of incorporates like a lot of these bullet points at once. Where like sometimes you're playing passive when your team is playing aggressive. Sometimes you play aggressive when it makes more sense to play passive, and then uh, sometimes your another major thing is that you know, you're playing the same static defense over and over, and it's not necessarily a bad thing in like silver because like the, the enemy teams if they're not adapting to it then fine keep doing it, but you also not make like your like make yourself a global presence, where like. Don't confine yourself to just B. If the enemy team like knows that you're B, and then they they just gotta keep hitting A, right? And you got a couple of rounds, like one or two rounds, you went A. Like I was uh, really happy. I was like, yeah, we can finally go A. You can like put trips at A, put cam at A, whatever. Like, or even if you you continue playing B, which is fine, you can still put trips like all over the map. That's what I really want to see. I want to see trips like all over the map. So like anywhere that the enemy team goes, they have to think about. There might be a trip heaven. There might be a trip in ropes. There might be a trip in a a ramp. There might be a trip at a or like just randomly at a while they try to plant or whatever. Randomly in, in like all over the map anywhere. Makes sense. And likewise, you can also use your your cages in, in a similar kind of fashion, where like you maybe put a put a cage across the map. Like you're you're in B, but you have a cage at at a lobby or something, and then the enemy team pushes a. You can tell your team, hey, play off my cage or something like that. Although that's a bit more, more high level, it requires a bit more coordination. Where the trip is like super easy, you just throw the trip and it, it automatically like can get value for you. And likewise with the cam as well. So one example is like if you if you expect yourself if you want to play passive in B, when the enemy team is like not pushing B, then you can anchor it. While you spend all utility at A, for example, like maybe you put all, you set up all utility at A, and then you put a cam at A site, and then you go hard anchor B, like by yourself or without, without your utility. But that's more specific if you really expect an A hit, and then that allows your team to play off A, or play off your utility. Right. Alright, so uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to hit me up. If you have any more thoughts that you want to review in the future, feel free to hit me up. I'll save this before maybe, maybe, maybe later. I'm, I'm I'm still trying to process everything that was covered right, like in the last hour. Okay. It's quite a lot. Lods only, or are you more of like a? Are you also willing to do like live coaching? You mean like while people are playing? Yeah, I don't really like to do it because it's like it's hard to talk about a lot of things. A lot of these topics, like we end up talking for like minutes at a time. Whereas doing a match, like you're more more likely to be focused or too focused on actually playing. Like I like the ability to being able to pause. Like right now we're paused, and then we can like talk about things in great detail. Mm -hmm. For for vods and for capture, like. Is there is there anything specific that we could use or like would Twitch be okay? Yeah. Like a Twitch recorder? Yeah, anything that you can record with. Okay, cool. Alright. Alright. If nothing else, I'll I'll stop here. Nothing else. Alright, thanks. Alright, take care. Bye. Hey, thank, thank you for coaching me today. Yeah, no problem. Alright. Alright, bye. Yeah.